From their ivory towers, their satanic majesties are gradually ramping up the intermittent displays of their Luciferian intentions, setting the table for the coming of their paradoxical savior, the Antichrist. The Swiss elite, with their guarded secrets, unveiled a new railway tunnel that will race through the Swiss Alps at 155 miles per hour. What appears to be normal theatrics begins as construction workers marching into the tunnel quickly morph into Luciferian symbolism. World leaders including Chancellor Angela Merkel of Germany, President Francois Hollande of France, and Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi were in attendance of the bizarre production to launch what equates to the 8.5 billion pound Gothard base tunnel. The Luciferian elite were there to witness the public mind control proceedings in plain sight, as usual. The the Daily Mail writes, The Swiss have put on one of the most bizarre opening ceremonies in history to mark the completion of the world's longest tunnel. Famed for their trains, organizers roped in more than 600 dancers, acrobats, and dramatic actors and even composed the new route's very own theme tune as they pulled out all the stops for Wednesday's inauguration at the tunnel's northern portal in Ertzfeld. Back in the United States, on the unholy day of 6-6-2016, the Los Angeles Satanic Temple publicized their demonic intentions. The LA Weekly writes, The group, which has 12 members, says it's heading to Lancaster on June 6th to take part in a satanic ritual, according to the statement. Members of the sect also will be in Lancaster to support local Steve Hill, billed as the first Satanic Temple member to run for public office. He's vying for a state senate seat. The Satanic Temple explained the meaning of their ritual. The pentagram is a star with five points. Using GPS technology, we will place the five points of the star so that the pentagram will encompass your entire city. When all of the points are in place, the pentagram is completed. This particular sect, with roots at Harvard and Cambridge, is decidedly intellectual. They claim, we stand up for human rights and civil rights. We get together on a social and political level. If you hadn't noticed, rituals such as these are gradually becoming commonplace. The Gnostic duality has, by degrees, snuck its way into the fabric of American society, seeking to transform the morality and ethical standards that built the United States of America into the self-indulgent Luciferian ideals of the ruling elite. With the involuntary support of millions of zombies transfixed by the spectacle. Is it not my king time to spring the trap? No, we must desecrate the soul and the flesh of the creator's creation. John Bound for Infowars.com.